Today I'm installing a couple of these little remote controls for winches. I just uh, tested them out with a little booster pack there and make sure they're on different channels because one's going to be used for my trailer and the other one's going to be used for the winch on the Argo. So I'll use that one for the hydraulic power pack and that one for the winch on the Argo. And I uh, got them off eBay, pretty cheap. Pretty simple wiring, red's the power, black is ground. And uh, we got yellow and white for in and out. And they're weatherproof boxes. Pretty neat. Try them out and see how they work. Of course, we got on off switch here. And in and out. Just finished installing the uh, remote, made a little bracket and uh, mounted the box there. The green wire is the antenna there so I'll just let, let that hang loose. Got a switch on it because uh, it do draw current when it's uh, not in use. I think it's like 0 0.06 milliamps but it would, wouldn't run the battery down if I left it alone. And I got the old remote stuck there now. That's the manual one just in case. But uh, there it is. So when I go to use the trailer for a day I just flick that switch on there. Now I got no wires hooked up to the trailer, which is great. Here's the little remote I'm going to put in there. I go, and uh, there's a switch on that one too for the battery. You just turn that on, and then you press the out button, and there she goes. And the in button would be back down. You see the light comes on on the remote. So, out, dump, and in is down. That's all to it. I'll shut the remote back off. And if I'm leaving her overnight or for a few days, I'll just turn the switch here back off. And that's it.